I have a little cabin and I left a yogurt there during spring break. I didn't make it back there until the fall. The yogurt was still there and I looked at it, it looked good, I needed it for my smoothie. So I gave it a try and it was fine, it tasted good and I didn't get sick. And that kind of was the eyebrow raising moment for me. I got more and more courageous um, after that. In 2018, Scott Nash set out on a year-long experiment to test the limits on food past its sell-by date. He even served expired food to his family. They didn't always know. <laughs> I mean, I would eat tortillas that were a year past date. Heavy cream. I ate heavy cream, I think, 10 weeks past date. And, um, and then meat. Sometimes I ate meat a good month past date. If it didn't smell bad, I rinse it off. Good to go. To complicate things, Nash is the founder and CEO of Mom's Organic Market, a grocery store chain in the D.C. metro region. I don't want stuff to go to waste, and so we have a source for the expired food, um, but we're not going to sell it. There's no market demand. There's a common misconception that once the sell-by date passes, food becomes unsafe to eat. But it turns out sell-by dates don't have much to do with food safety. In my experience, when these dates are set, there's usually, assuming normal conditions, a little bit of wiggle room. Anytime where you go after that date, this is more of a quality issue. You might see a deterioration of maybe color, other aspects. Um, it doesn't mean it's unsafe, it just means that you're not getting the peak eating experience. Take, for example, a gallon of milk. Milk in the United States is required to be pasteurized. That means it's heated to a certain temperature for a certain period of time in order to kill the pathogens like salmonella that can make you really sick. And those pathogens don't spontaneously regrow. They have to be reintroduced to the milk in order to get you sick. The longer your milk sits, the less palatable it's going to be. Other foods like deli meats, unpasteurized milk and cheeses, and prepared foods like parfaits that you don't reheat probably should be tossed after it's used by date. But when Nash walks through his grocery store, he sees all kinds of products with long shelf lives that have sell-by dates. This is Himalayan sea salt. It's basically, a, I mean, it's a mineral or rock, whatever, like, this doesn't go bad. Take these, yeah, it's baby wipes. They expire March 10th, 2021. They don't expire. You can come over here, see some of these have the dates and some don't. And that's when you have to kind of question, like, that says something. So if sell-by dates are questionable, why do we have them in the first place? In the 1940s, people began moving off farms and into urban and suburban areas, slowly losing their connection to where food comes from. More and more food became processed, packaged, and canned. Manufacturers used printed codes on their products to communicate with grocery stores, not customers. Consumer advocate organizations made little booklets like this one from 1977 to help customers decipher manufacturer codes and the product's shelf life. People were demanding to know how fresh their food was. That demand turned into the types of package date labeling we see today. And a patchwork of laws across the United States. In the U.S., there is no federal law that requires states on food, except for infant formula. No two states have the same um, laws regarding date labels, which I think is really good evidence that the laws are not based in science. To give you an example of that, let's turn back to milk. Milk in Montana, to be specific. The requirement there is that milk have a date that's 12 days after pasteurization, which is like half of the time that normal industry puts on milk. And then they don't allow that milk to be sold or donated after that date. Um, so a lot of milk gets thrown out. When most people are standing in the dairy aisle of their grocery store, they sort through the shelves, trying to find the product with the sell-by date that's farthest away. If they put, the date has to be 12 days after pasteurization, milk that's coming in from nearby states, by the time it gets to the shelf, is gonna be close to that date and less people will buy it. The beneficiaries? In-state dairy farms. And there's good evidence, actually, that this was part of their decision-making in writing that regulation. It may seem like something as simple as only choosing milk with the farthest away sell-by date is pretty harmless. But all this wasted food tossed out because of sell-by dates really adds up. So how do we stop wasting food? For a really long time, it's been clear that the best way we can kind of manage this situation is to have um, standard labels on food. In 2017, the grocery industry, led by the Grocery Manufacturers Association and Food Marketing Institute, attempted to do just that with a voluntary standard on food date labeling. They recommend two date labels, best if used by and used by. Best if used by describes product quality, meaning that the product might not taste as good past the date, but it's safe to eat. Used by is for products that are highly perishable and should be used or tossed by that date. 
but not all food products are part of the Grocery Manufacturers Association. Products like meat and dairy have their own associations. And I think to really have an impact, we're going to need the main government agencies that regulate food uh, to be able to say, these are what these labels mean. When you see these on products, here's what you should do. Here's how you should interpret them. Emily Broadley believes that the government won't be able to do that unless the labels are required. In May 2019, the FDA announced it strongly supports the best if used by label to designate food quality as a best practice, but doesn't require it by law. The FDA said that manufacturers can put whatever phrasing they want to convey health risk. So what's Nash's solution? So they're trying to bring clarity to the descriptor of the date. One is a quality, one is a safety. Um, that's better than what we have now. but. I think something shouldn't be dated. He's also learned to trust his senses a little bit more. After the expiration date, you know, I started to push that envelope. Um, I've gotten really good at smelling things. 